What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I want to talk about propellers, specifically speaking, carbon fiber propellers for the Mavic Pro. Now, I just want to warn you guys, my thoughts are all over the place on these propellers. You'll notice that the title of this video is a subpar upgrade because they have some advantages to them, but also some disadvantages uh, when compared to those plastic propellers. So, if you want to go out there, spend the extra money and upgrade, you can, but I'm going to be doing some tests in this video, so hopefully it'll help you make up your mind. You know, I've always seen people talk about these carbon fiber propellers, and I went to Amazon the other day, and they came up under my recommended tab for $19, so I had to pull the trigger. Anyway, taking a closer look at these carbon fiber propellers, you'll notice they are designed just like the 8331 low noise propellers made for the Mavic Pro Platinum to get quieter and longer flight time. I mean, literally, they are the exact same design from the small curve at the end down to the locking mechanism in the center that spins into the motor. These two propellers are longer and more wide than the original Mavic Pro propellers, and with these design changes, we actually can hear a pretty big difference in noise when we are flying. We'll take a look at this in just a little bit. While we are still here at the table, I quickly want to show you just how strong these carbon fiber propellers are. Bending the plastic propellers from DJI is really easy, and oftentimes if you crash your drone, these are the first things to break. Even if you lightly graze a tree branch and break one of your plastic propellers, it could cause irregular flight, or even worse, it could send your drone tumbling from the sky. This is not the case with the carbon fiber propellers. As you can see, when I tried to bend them, there is very little give. Now, just because these propellers are stronger doesn't mean that they are better. Let's say you hit something a little bit harder, like a tree trunk or maybe even the ground, those stronger propellers will not break under the force. They might, but usually, typically, these carbon fiber propellers are pretty strong, they won't break, therefore your motors are going to take most of the damage, most of the blow, and you could totally blow out an ESC or even the entire motor itself. Now I know there will be some people out there wondering if these carbon fiber propellers will actually lock into place like the stock DJI propellers, which they do. Just like the regular propellers, there's no sign of them being loose, wobbly, or off balance. This makes for smooth and safe flight. All right, so now we're outside. I've got the sun in my eyes, but we're gonna run a couple of different tests out here. The first one that I wanna do is a quick noise test, which is something I always do whenever I try a different pair of propellers or a different set of propellers on my drone. Now, just a quick heads up, all of these tests are gonna be done with the original Mavic Pro and not the Mavic Pro Platinum. So just from listening to these different propellers, there's definitely a big difference between the original Mavic Pro props and those 8331 props sold by DJI. We've already taken a look at that uh, in a previous video, but I think that honestly, listening to these carbon fiber props, they might be the quietest. It could be my ears playing a trick on me, but right now, I think these come in at the quietest, but the 8331 props sold by DJI are just as quiet. I think that they work awesome. All right, so the next test that I wanna run with the Mavic Pro is a quick performance test. And honestly, there's like no difference. These propellers don't get you more speed. The vertical speed is the same going up and down. I mean, really just in general, the performance is basically the same no matter which set of propellers you put on. It does feel a little bit more agile, uh, like it's a little bit more responsive with the carbon fiber props due to the lightweight material, which allow the motors to change speeds faster, but it's nothing significant. Upon doing some research online, they do say that it's supposed to work better under higher RPMs, meaning you get some better performance when it's in sport mode and you're pushing the motors a little bit harder. Another thing some people say is that the carbon fiber propellers will make a difference in the wind, although even in the strongest gusts of wind, it seems choppy like it was almost performing worse. Now the final thing that I want to do is test the flight time because upon reading some different articles about carbon fiber propellers, some people didn't even mention the flight time and others reported some pretty drastic changes in flight time. So here we are in my very dimly lit garage and hovered in place using both sets of propellers. The stock Mavic Pro propellers are on the left side and the carbon fiber 8331 low noise clone propellers are on the right. I started off at 100% battery on each of the drones or each flight and let the Mavic sit there until it reached 10% battery and which it immediately landed due to critically low power. The results I got were to be expected. I got a flight time of 24 minutes and 43 seconds with the regular propellers and 23 minutes and 26 seconds with the carbon fiber propellers. So we're looking at a decrease of overall flight time by around a minute and 17 seconds. If it was anything over two minutes, I probably would have said that it's a bad thing, but honestly, a minute of decreased flight time, or I guess a minute and 17 seconds, really doesn't bother me all that much. 
So I know we went through some of these tests pretty quickly, so I want to take a minute to relax and do a quick recap over everything that we've learned from testing out the carbon fiber and the plastic propeller. So here is a quick chart that I made. It's going to show you the positives of each of the different kinds of propellers. So for the carbon fiber props, they are stronger. It's going to handle the smaller obstacles better just because it's a stronger made blade. Therefore, if you run into any twigs, leaves, any small branches, stuff like that, it's going to cut right through it and keep flying rather than falling down to the ground. It's also going to give you some quieter flight that's just due to the 8331 propeller design and also it's going to be more agile. As far as the plastic propellers are concerned it's going to give you some longer flight time only by again about a minute and 17 seconds that's what I calculated from my test. It's also going to give you some more give during big crashes so your motors aren't going to burn out if you hit something hard like a tree trunk or the ground and also finally this is probably a big plus it's made by DJI. I don't really like using third-party accessories ever with my drones uh, when I'm going out flying especially something that is so imperative to flight such as the propellers. So anyway guys, those are the tests that I ran through these carbon fiber propellers. Are they a good upgrade? Maybe, but honestly I'd probably just say stick with the DJI made propellers. If you guys want the quieter flight time that these carbon fiber props give you, you could always go out and just get the low noise 8331 props that are designed for the Mavic Pro Platinum, but again, can still be used on the Mavic Pro. According to some of these other reviews that I've read and watched online, people seem to be giving these props, the carbon fiber propellers, a lot more praise than they deserve. They're really not all that special, and also some people seem to say they're like crazy expensive. When I bought mine for $20, whereas original or the stock DJI propellers cost $10. So again, they're really not all that much more expensive. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you own carbon fiber props, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comment section of them. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.